Welcome back, guys. Crispy Waffles here to spice up your quarantine with the game you've all been waiting for. In one corner, we've got APX Void, the original mage god. If you don't know who this guy is, go follow him on Facebook right now. And in the other corner, the world's most amateur professional, or professional amateur something. Regardless, today we got a Battle of the Titans for you. We've got Aggro Proof Reno. I hope your body is ready because we're going to jump right into it. If you have any questions, tips, maybe you're missing some cards and want to know what to swap, maybe you just want to say hi, drop a comment below. I always love to hear from you guys. If you enjoy my stuff, make sure you like the video to let me know. And if you want to be a part of my mage family slash army, we'd love to have you. All you got to do is subscribe. Like and subscribe or Reno will find you. Let's do this. I hope you're set back, relaxed, have yourself a nice warm cup of coffee or tea or a cool glass of beer. Uh, we're gonna jump right into the meat and potatoes of it here. We have another mage versus mage. That's beautiful. So, um, the pilgrim would be okay for a chance at the galaxy, but I feel like we're better off just going for some kind of early game or maybe hitting the galaxy naturally. Like, we do have the dragon caster in hand, so if we can hit the power creation, the galaxy, anything really, we're really going to be able to capitalize there. I really like the Malagos too. Um, let's just explode in board value. Also going to proc the dragon caster if we really need it to. Not the best early game, but... And we do have the Bone Wraith and Zilliac, so we'll have something for the mid game. Oh, Golden Book of Spectres, very nice. Oh, that guy's APX Void. That guy's AP. Oh my god. Okay, if you don't know who APX Void is, go like follow him on whatever he streams on. Like, I always make jokes about like wanting to be the Ryan Reynolds of Hearthstone. This guy is the original Ryan Reynolds of Hearthstone. Like, this guy is the original mage god. I, um, we, we've got a, we got a game ahead of us here. So, he's going for the Bone Wraith. We're going to follow that up with our own Bone Wraith. Like, my heart is beating so fast right now. <laughs> like, I am so excited to get to play against my idol. <laughs> like, you have no idea. Like, I'm not going to call this guy my rival because I love him. Like, if any player in the entire player base were to put the roll in in high rolling this is the guy hopefully that sounded like a compliment that was supposed to sound like a compliment I'm a little bit drunk right now oh he's going for the doomsayer so I'm pretty sure that he's going to go for the Dragon Caster into like a Pocket Galaxy or something on the next turn. We drew our own Pocket Galaxy though, so we're just going to coin that out with the Dragon Caster. Turn 5 Pocket Galaxy. That's exactly what we need for a game against a god. So now at least when he goes for his own galaxy or whatever he had up his sleeve here. Or I guess he didn't... Maybe he has it... Just not with the uh, Dragon Caster. But that uh, that Golden Luna. Jesus Christ. So, uh, we're a little bit scared of the Mayor Entity. We're going to want to test the waters with the Witch Doctor. Uh, Blizzard's a pretty obvious pick here. Wasn't the Mirror Entity. So we'll go ahead and get that Malagos out as well. Just uh, get our options out of the way now. Before he has some crazy value out on the board. And it becomes risky to go for the options here. The Polymorph's going to be a little bit better than the other options, I feel. He's definitely going to have some really huge minions in the late game, and clearing one of them for one mana is okay with me. Wait, note that Reno to deal 10 damage to our minions, but we did only have the 4 attack. Uh, both the minions out generated a spell for us, so I'm okay with that. He's got a bit of a board out, but we got plenty of options in hand. Uh, we know he doesn't have a mere entity, so rather than playing a spell, we'll just guarantee that we can clear that Stargazer Luna before he can get any more draws off. Uh, his hand is getting a little bit low. Hopefully we can keep it that way. Blow another removal option to clear the sea amount unless he wants to trade the Reno into it. it. Did look like he has a Zilliax in hand, so it's pretty good for him. I like that he's playing the Snip Snap now though. He's really trying to capitalize on that value. Uh, you can tell that uh, he, he knows he's on the clock here because he we got the galaxy and he hasn't. We'll get that Keysmith out, that gives us a counterspell that's huge, unless half his hand is spells. 
um, <laughs> then we're gonna counter whatever spell he goes for. So we want to test the waters for that secret. Reno has more attack, but I guess if we freeze the Ziliax, he'll be forced to trade with the Reno if we're lucky. But it was a spellbender, so <laughs> that that whole thought process is irrelevant. We're just gonna blizzard the board anyway. Oh, and he does have his own golden Sia mat to follow that up with. So not only is that sexy as hell, that's uh, going to be a little bit scary to deal with. Good thing we have Ray of Frost, worst case scenario. Uh, let's go ahead and trigger the Death Rattle. We'll polymorph the Sia mat here and just flame strike the whole board. Puts us back to square one, we are ahead in the hand advantage, and we have the Pog Galaxy effect. Oh, he's gonna go for the Alex. Uh, we already got that counter spell out, we got an Alex and a Ray of Frost in hand, so we're gonna go for the turn 10 Alex. We're gonna be able to freeze his minion as well, so, um, yeah, like, I, I feel like that's just as good as what he did, if not better. Able to counter his Ray of Frost, that's huge. Uh, he must have not had another uh, spell in hand. Yeah, you can tell he's definitely... That is so big. Oh, it's looking good for us here. Okay, so he's going for the Dragon Caster. And the Zephyr. Okay, so he's down, but he's not out. I like that he's down to just the two cards in hand, though. Lay on hands. That was a really smart play. Okay, so we're back to an even hand. He was able to get the board advantage there. Uh, you gotta expect that from the Mage God himself. So I think we'll just go face here. We could uh, conjure our minion and then get a, uh, with any luck, the Shadow Flame. We were lucky enough to get a minion with eight attacks. So we'll go ahead and pop the Nasari. As awesome as that effect is, I feel like the Divine Shield is just uh, completely worth holding on to. Probably could have got a better play with the Zephyr, but... <laughs> Like, my heart's beating a mile a minute here. I don't have time to pull up the spreadsheets and uh, <laughs> look it up. I feel like that was solid enough. We did, we were able to force the Amazing Reno with it, so I really like that. Four spells left in the deck. One of them is Power Creation. We're going to go for it. We did hit it. That's beautiful. Uh, we wanted to go for that before the uh, Book of Spectres, just in case we were to mill it. And we'll conjure the eight cost. Oh, that's actually really huge. Uh, now we can generate a bunch of free six sixes. He already used the Amazing Reno. So uh, we're definitely going to bait out some kind of freezes on him. Uh, we'll go ahead and get the defender out, draw some more cards in the process. I guess technically we should have uh, drawn before the defender, but it doesn't really matter. Um, with a board like this, like he has to, uh, I, I guess puzzle box is all he could really do uh, other than freezing the board. Going to go for a secret. GG, beautiful plays indeed. Oh my god, I'm so excited here. Oh my god, like it's so hard to talk. <laughs> I, uh, like I'm just speechless. I guess we has got the Keysmith in the Blizzard. Uh, he is going to be able to uh, stall us out another turn here. Uh, we're going to want to go for the Ziliax first, just in case that is a mere entity, which it is. Uh, that's really good. Now we can clear everything with the Reno. Pretty convenient to have exactly five minions left. <laughs> I guess if he freezes us again, we'll have a full board. But... Uh, no, because he's going to clear another minion. Uh, works for me. <laughs> so yeah, uh, he didn't have the puzzle box. He's going for a conjure by the looks of it. Like That's his whole turn, and we did it. I am, like, I, I can't feel my hands right now. <laughs> I, I don't know how, to, like, oh my god. Like, I just got to play against my idol. Like, you probably knocked him down to rank two. I wouldn't be your friend either. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty true. Okay, I, I guess I can't blame him. Damn it. <laughs> well, I didn't want to concede, though, because then he'd... You don't want a shallow victory, but I still feel so guilty for beating him. But I still feel so awesome for beating him off. Next
next time on Dragon Ball Z. Thank you so much for watching, you goddamn legend. Sorry for the quick video, but that intro took forever. And tomorrow we're dropping what will probably be the best video this channel has ever seen. I don't want to spoil it, but mark my words, it's going to be a good one. Uh, drop a comment with any questions, like the video if you liked it, and subscribe if you want to see more. Until tomorrow, stay beautiful. Love you.